健身房及运动打卡热潮风靡全网，大家都认为多运动就能加强心脏健康，真的是这样吗？因为过度运动将为心肌和心电带来高风险，严重的话更是会导致猝死的发生。这些年来，运动员猝死的新闻时有所闻，让人不禁深思：看起来健康无病痛的他们，为什么会突然倒地不起呢？猝死究竟如何发生？怎么做才能预防猝死？让 CVS KL 的心脏病专家 Dr. Zulkifli Muhammad 为我们解开迷惑。For our first question, I would like to ask how to tell the difference between sudden death and cardiac arrest. Most people get mixed up between sudden cardiac death and cardiac arrest. So cardiac death simply means the heart stop and, and people die because of that. Whereas cardiac arrest, it simply means cessations of cardiac function which lead to sudden cardiac death. So during this cardiac arrest, most of the time it can still be safe and reverse back to normal conditions. So for example, cardiac arrest means that it could be that the heart is beating so fast that there's not enough blood to go inside the heart, your blood pressure drops, and the brain being the highest uh, organ in our body will start to have no oxygen or no blood circulation. It stops to function and we just lose our consciousness and collapse. And if you were to do something quickly before that, for example like CPR or even cardioversion, we may be able to reverse cardiac arrest and prevent people from going into cardiac death. If someone has cardiac arrest, how can we save his or her life? Patients who actually had cardiac arrest, what they feel is just dizziness, feel sleepy, and most of them they just go to sleep and collapse. First thing that we can do for any given situation is call for help. Even for CPR, one of the important steps that people tend to forget when they go for CPR is actually to ask for help. Because when patients collapse, we don't have all the devices and facilities to shock the patients. If you call for help, then someone will bring that to you while you're doing CPR. That will make our CPR more effective and better in terms of saving the patient. First, you check for pulse and respiration. And then if patients do not breathe and there's no pulse, then you start with the chest compressions. One of the most things that I mentioned before about sudden cardiac arrest is this what we call shockable rhythm. In other words, that's why nowadays when people have AED, they have this automatic voice control guide that says stop CPR, analyze rhythm. So those are the conditions that doesn't matter how good with the CPR, if you don't shock the patient, they're not going to come out from that. So sometimes this early shock therapy will help to revert back the patient back to normal and for all you know, the heart will start to function again and you can actually stop the CPR. So can you tell us the possible causes of sudden death? The major contributor for sudden cardiac death is actually the heart attack or myocardial infarction. The rest are because of the cardiac arrest due to other conditions like congenital heart disease, heart muscle disease, people with a severe valvular heart disease. Those are heart-related conditions. Just talk about cardiac death. It also could be because of the trauma where people lose a lot of blood, so there's nothing that go around to circulate around the body. So that can lead to cardiac death as well. Are there any warning signs and symptoms of sudden death? There are a few warning symptoms that patients may actually have before they develop cardiac death. For those who had a heart attack, they may have chest pain prior to an actual heart attack whenever they do something heavy. And for a patient with cardiac arrest, they can sometimes present it with a feeling dizzy of unexplained reason or intermittent fainting out or in medical term, we call it syncope. The minute patient or people develop this condition, they should go and seek medical help or go and see a doctor immediately. Can you share to us what are the prevention of sudden death? A lot of cardiac arrest can sometimes be prevented. People should actually go for at least yearly screening or regular exercise. We're talking about treatments, for example, treating your cholesterol, treating your blood pressure, stopping smoking, do regular exercise. For patients who had family history of sudden cardiac death, then they should actually go for screening. Meaning, things like simply go for ECG or just go and see doctors, they can do physical assessment. And for patients who keep having frequent syncope and dizziness, they should go and see any cardiac doctors 
So we can do screening assessment to see whether they are at risk of having sudden cardiac death. Those are what we call primary preventions. When patient had or survived sudden cardiac arrest or sudden cardiac death, then this is what we call secondary prevention. Whatever we do after that is to prevent them from having further heart attack. Then they can actually be run a device called cardiac defibrillator, which will shock the patient out of the cardiac arrest every time they have uh, the event. Prevention is better than cure. So if any of us having symptoms of dizziness, chest pain, unexplained painting episodes, go and seek medical help. Hopefully that might actually save our life. 猝死虽然猝不及防，但不代表无法预防。从日常作息开始，培养良好的生活习惯，避免过度劳累和激烈运动。如果身体发出猝死的信号，记得第一时间求助专业医生，及时就医，做出心有所属的选择。